Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, so I made a video about a year ago talking about what if the coronavirus caused a recession. I'll link the video in the description below. And I look back on that video, and this is the map you're seeing right here. I've copied the map from that video onto right here, and this is the map that I came up with. Of course, the margins are god-awfully wrong. Uh, some of them are. Colorado, New Mexico ended up being safe. Iowa, Ohio, and Texas ended up being likely. Florida ended up being lean. Pennsylvania was lean. But everything else, and Virginia ended up being safe. But everything else seemed to be correct. Oh yeah, Nebraska's first district, which was the only race I got wrong on this map, on a technical term, which would have gone went to Biden. I had it going to Trump on this map. As you can see, I predicted the flip of Georgia, Arizona, and the Rust Belt. But I did not predict the flip of Nebraska's second district. Now, I looked at this map back in January because I honestly forgot all about this video. And I was like, oh yeah, I made a video about the coronavirus and if it caused a recession. Let's take a look at that, see how accurate I was. Because I didn't remember how good I did, or how badly I did. Knowing me, I thought I just gave... Biden, Arizona, the Rust Belt, and possibly Maine 2nd, and possibly Florida. But no, I got this map right here on your screen, if you want to go watch it. Um, I'll, again, I'll link it down in the description. So, this is a 98% accurate map. For at 305 for Joe Biden to 233 for Donald Trump. So, my, even though my final prediction was god-awful, everybody knows it, I had Donald Trump winning by, by, I think, 326 electoral votes. Um, if I had just stuck the course with, like, not being, how do I explain this, not being, let's just say, I was watching a lot of Red Eagle politics, and what he was saying kind of tilted my predictions into, like, another direction. And Tim Pool as well. Those two, nothing against those two. They're very intellectual individuals, but they have a bias to them at times. Tim Pool to a lesser extent. And I thought, oh my god, Donald Trump's going to win, and he's going to win by a bigger margin than anyone expected. That did not happen. That was my thinking. I thought the peace deals were going to do well for Donald Trump, and there was a lot of trends that I just ignored because of that fact, because of my bias, which. I hate myself for it because I'm supposed to, because I always champion being unbiasedness on YouTube. I champion that. And my final prediction was wrong because I was biased. Because of my personal views and what I was saying on the news. And I'm going to try not to do that anymore. I feel like I'm going to hope that my future predictions are better. But again, like, if I had stuck the course, I might have actually gotten the electoral map 100% correct. Because shortly after this, I had predicted that Joe Biden was going to win Nebraska second before I started going off on my... Donald Trump's going to win! Donald Trump will win big! I promise he's going to win big! He's going to win bigly! He's going to do great things! But... Yeah, because my, my map went from sensible to, wait, what the fuck is this? Pretty much, in a matter of a week. But, there goes that. But people make mistakes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, the video will be down in the description below. This is the Chaotic One saying, peace. And go don't, and don't forget to go follow my Twitter, at Chaotic Politics.